Hi, I'm Todd Smith with GoTo Marine Tech Support. I've been in the marine industry over 20 years, mostly on the service and repair side. Um, I wanted to go over some yearly maintenance items for your boat trailer, such as wheel bearings, brakes, tie down straps, wiring, springs, checking the frame for any cracks, damages, um, and also we'll go over some uh, maintenance for the jack. Okay, I wanted to go over straps with you guys. Um, see this tear right here? That's an obvious sign that the strap needs replaced. Um, the safety latch here, uh, a lot of times those get uh, get mangled and the springs goes bad on them and they're gone. Uh, that's another sign to replace it. Also, you can tell this strap was normally yellow. Um, now it's almost white, it's so bad dry rotted. Um, but you want to keep an eye on this stuff. Um, this definitely, like I said, needs replaced. Um, and to replace this, all we're going to do is we're going to um, just completely pull this strap all the way out. Um, there will be another sewn in hook uh, on the opposite end of this. And this bolt right here get, runs all the way through the spool and will attach to the loop here uh, that's on the opposite end. That's what keeps tension on it. That's what holds it tight. Um, also, I recommend if you do not have a safety chain that you pick one up, uh, especially with these type trailers um, with the rollers on them. They are more common to roll off if the strap breaks the uh, they are called easy loaders but they are also easy unloaders wanted to go over the greasing part uh, like I said you'll want to jack this wheel up and as you're shooting grease in here um, you will want to spin this tire slowly that way you're making sure to get grease in all of the bearing a lot of boat trailers come with tie down straps installed on them permanently. Um, you want to check these straps for fraying. Um, just kind of same with your bow strap. Uh, just make sure you don't have any rips or tears. If they're dry rotted, definitely replace them. Um, you also want to look on the inside of the wheel just to make sure you don't have any grease blowing out of the inside seal there um, and while you're there like i said good idea check your springs make sure they don't have any cracks any excess play um, make sure they're secured good to the trailer uh, all the bushings are intact this is going to be a good example of a trailer axle with a bad wheel seal in it uh, you'll notice the grease all around the wheel um, along with the grease there uh, and the center coming out um, that that's another good indicator that the seal is bad and just remember you can get all these parts needed to make trailer repairs along with other parts at go to marine.com